Hello, YouTube. So it turns out I've been talking to myself for a little bit. That was freaking awkward. Um, I love it when I think I'm recording video and it turns out I'm not. Uh, damn. Damn. <laughs> and, and what I thought I was shooting video was of was the fact that, oh, look, looky here, brand new deadbolt. But yeah, I'm not backtracking to show you all the deadbolt. You're just going to have to take my word for it. There's a brand new deadbolt. Uh, by the way, it is 4.15 p.m. Sunday, July 31st. 2022 and uh yeah granted it's a uh, it's a it's a few hours before uh, august 1st but i highly doubt that priscilla will be uh coming back between now and midnight um and she was told she had to be out by the first so um yeah if she does contact me between now and midnight, you know, I'll, uh, I'll figure something out, <laughs> but, you know, um, but, uh, I don't expect that. Uh, anyway, I didn't, I didn't install all the hardware that I bought, but I did, I did get the deadbolt in the front door and the deadbolt in the back door. And I feel, part of me feels like a giant weight has been lifted from my shoulders, but then part of me realizes that I've probably, uh, uh, um, it's it's probably going to turn into into a straight out straight out war between Priscilla and I, as if it kind of hasn't been for a, for a while, you know. But um, but yeah, uh, um, I'm I'm planning on sending her a text message uh, shortly after midnight, um, just informing her that that uh, that uh, thank, thanking her for vacating my place by the first as I asked her to. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, uh, yeah, this is why I'm gonna have to sit down and type. I want it to be a good one. I'm proofread it a few a few times and send it send it as a text message, and then also send it to both of her uh, both text message to both of her numbers, and copy and paste the exact same thing to both of her email addresses. Um, you know, I'd I'd print it and send it on paper to her mailing address, but she has yet to give me a mailing address. So, as far as I know, she's still using my address as her mailing address, even though I've. I've never ever given her permission to do that, and uh, and I told her after she left my mailbox key at the bar that she needed to no longer be receiving mail at my place, and that uh, and that, um, that yeah she would not be getting that key back. So um, and instead of doing things that might make me change my mind on those positions. Um, like, I don't know, maybe, maybe, uh, you know, being, being the lover that she was, was, <laughs> you know, maybe being the lover that she was and is supposed to be and, and being the, uh, you know, companion and partner that, that, that she's supposed to be and, you know, helping me out, helping me out with rides while my vehicle is down and cleaning up after herself. God, that's a huge one. Just clean up your damn mess, woman. Um, you know, instead of taking care of those things, she's just continued on with all the things, you know, all the, all the behaviors, uh, that have had me wanting her gone in, including staying out all night, um, and not coming home last weekend. Uh, as well as, 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 you know, continuing to uh, take advantage of my body and get me aroused, but not you know, follow through with that. So yeah, all of, all of, all of that, all of that stuff. Um, yeah, just continuing to do all the things that I, you know, I told her I didn't want her doing and not really doing any of the things that would have changed my mind about wanting her gone. So um, yeah, uh, this is the day. Locks have been changed. Um, gonna send her an email, um, put it in both of her emails and her text messages, and basically say, "Hey, uh, today today is the first. Thanks for uh, thanks for vacating my apartment on time. Um, the locks have been changed. Uh, if you enter my apartment, uh, if you uh, if you enter my apartment." Um, pass this note, you know, you're hereby notified that if you enter my apartment again without my permission, you will be trespassing and I will press charges. Uh, if you attempt to use a locksmith to gain entry to my place, again, you will be trespassing and I will be pressing charges. And um, um, 
very frustrated. You left so much of a mess behind in my place. Um, if you wish to get any of the stuff back for me, uh, um, um, you're going to have to make arrangements. Uh, uh, you, you're going to have to, to make arrangements at my convenience. Have a nice life. I think that's more or less what I'm going to put in it. <sighs> anyway, um, so I am on my way to Amazon. You know, I swore I would never wear shorts to Amazon again, but I didn't really have time to go after after getting the deadbolts done. I, it's already later than when I like to get to the bus stop with all the problems I've had uh, with riding the 17. Uh, if you remember the videos from last week, I ended up having to wait something like 40, an hour, 45 minutes, an hour, something like that. I think I waited over 45 minutes, 48 minutes, something like that, for a Route 17 to actually show up uh, westbound, which just barely got me to work on time because it ended up running late. Um, and then I had that god-awful visit to, uh, to uh, Jack in the Box, where I paid way too much money for a not-so-jumbo-jumbo -jumbo Jack. Um, and I had to watch this poor teenage girl climb up on a chair, climb up on a bar stool. There's no way that's that's a. Uh, that, that, <laughs> there can no, be no way that OSHA allows that. <laughs> that's got to be a workplace hazard. But yeah, she climbed up on a on a on a bar stool to get ice out of the soda fountain, which was shut down in the front of the restaurant because apparently they have no functioning ice maker in the back. Yeah, the whole place was tragic. It was dirty. Still need to write that review for Google and post those pictures. I still got the pictures of that place. Uh, I had to get a code to get into the bathroom when the bathroom was absolutely filthy. But hey, at least they did have an available bathroom for me as a customer. And uh, yeah, and then what was it, $2.50 or some shit like that for my quote unquote value drink? That's not a value. Um, you know who's who's whose fountain drinks are a value, uh, um, Costco. I forget how much the, 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 the refillable fountain drinks are there. I think it's a 22 ounce and I think it's something like 60 cents. That's a value. That's decent. Or, uh, or Circle K where I can, you know, get a six, uh, it's like all this water in this damn Phoenix, fix the drainage on your path. Holy shit. Um, middle of summer, I'm walking through fucking mud trying to get through this park to the damn bus stop. Uh, so, uh, yeah. Um, damn, I'm like literally squishing myself through fucking mud up here. What the hell? You know, and then the path is freaking flooded. Shouldn't be this hard to get down to the bus stop. Um, anyway, um, Oh, God, what was I saying? My train of thought just completely derailed by all this freaking water and mud I have to walk through to get to my fucking bus stop. Oh, yeah, I was talking about Jack in the Box. Yeah. Yeah, I still have those pictures. I haven't posted them. And holy shit, look at all this mud. What the actual hell? Um, I think I got my work shoes on. Oh, and some good news I did. Oh, Jesus Christ, it's like a fucking swamp here. Holy shit, look at all that. I don't know if you can see it, but it's just layers of water there. Fucking swamp trying to walk up to the goddamn bus stop. Um, so, uh, uh, I did get my, uh, get my new work shoes from Amazon. I haven't opened the box yet, but those showed up. Uh, oh gosh, Saturday. And when I got home Saturday evening, I think they were, yeah, they were there because I got home. So I didn't make it home Friday night um, due to transportation, transportation and inebriation issues. But, uh, but yeah, when I got home on uh, Saturday afternoon, oh shit, my iPhone is unlocked. Where is it? I never understand how this iPhone is always like not unlocked, but the screen is open and it's doing stuff. And now I'm having a very difficult time getting the passcode in it. Okay, got it open. It's trying to... 101 degrees out. Wow, and a flash flood warning. Well, that's lovely. Uh, it feels way hotter than 101, but that's probably because the humidity is really up there right now. Um, Valley Metro. 
the, the so it is 425 says the 17 um, headed westbound is on time I don't know if y'all can see that probably not uh, on time 448 p.m. so five six seven eight so I'm looking at why that screen just go off five oh because the battery's at ten percent uh, and I probably bumped something on the screen to go into low power mode, which I really hate because it just ends up wasting time, which functionally ends up wasting more battery. Uh, so it's 426 of 448. That would be 22 minutes from now. I got a bit of a wait here. Uh, and it shows that the bus is on Pima Road, just south of some cross street. look at the view and like it shows a road but it doesn't label it because I mean so many roads are just very nondescript in Phoenix there we go it's crazy how I have to zoom in and zoom out on the map app sometimes to see the street names so interesting uh, so the McDowell Road bus I don't know if y'all can see this the McDowell Road bus is currently sitting on Pima Road uh, just south of Indian School Road headed south so apparently it does a run down Pima as a not in service bus on the way to where the route starts which is two miles south uh, two miles south down Pima here at uh, here at McDowell oh and apparently that that thing so apparently yeah the that's interesting look at this I get down here it just it just moved so it shows here I don't know if y'all can see that there's a Right there at the end of McDowell, it shows a 41. Oh, and of course, it's that's moving. That's one thing I don't like about this app. You zoom it in on something, and then when the bus that you've clicked in on moves, it automatically bounces back to that instead of staying on what you scrolled over to look at. It's like if I wanted to see that, I'd have scrolled back to it. Stupid app. Uh, but yeah, you see right here on uh, on McDowell, it shows a 41. So basically, what those buses are doing, what that means, those buses are doing, is when the when the 17 gets the end of McDowell Road, it becomes a 41, and it drives up Pima up to Indian School as a not in service bus and vice versa the 41 when it's getting to uh, to the end to Pima Road it drives down two miles and here you see it's almost to Thomas you see it's almost to Thomas it's moving it drives two miles south down Pima down here to McDowell and then starts its route at McDowell which begs the question why not why not make that all one route if that's where the bus goes why isn't that a route? Why isn't there service? Why is there two miles of service that has a bus going north on it and a bus going south on it that is not providing transportation? And, and why don't people who are maybe coming over here from, say, Granite Reef and... Uh, Granite Reef and McDowell, or maybe Miller and, or I'm sorry, Granite Reef and Indian School or Miller and Indian School, not have the option to get on that 41 westbound that becomes a 17 eastbound and just take a simple straight ride without any, without any transfers or having to wait and sweat at bus stops um, down Indian School to Pima, south on Pima to McDowell, and then down McDowell to wherever they're going on McDowell. Why is, why is that not an option? I mean, the bus is going in there anywhere, anyway. Why can't Valley Metro figure this out? Why can't they provide services at the places where they're actually running the buses? I mean, it's so many places where they're not running buses that could, could use bus service. It frustrates me that there's not a bus on Oak. It frustrates me that there's not a bus on 48th Street. It frustrates me that there's not a bus on 52nd Street. It frustrates me that there's not a bus on 40th Street. Meanwhile, we've got buses running up and down Pima Road, but there's not a bus route on Pima Road. But the buses are running up and down Pima Road. Why not put the bus stops there? and have those buses that are driving there anyway be in service instead of driving that route not in service that shit just makes me angry um anyway so i've got a, a wee bit of time i'm super thirsty again so i, I whoops i'm blocking my phone i'm uh, blocking my camera i think i'm just gonna wrap this up because god knows i've